in this video something about receiving long wave radio with say the most bare circuit and that's a transistor circuit a TRF radio and it is made for that long wave band but on the other hand you can connect other coils so here this is that a uh, long wave radio coil here and it's very very important that such a coil uh, must be connected to a proper antenna and with proper I mean that the length of the antenna must match to the to the coil we are all talking about meters uh, and when you say study the radio technology you will surely see and find uh, say the meter issue not an issue but anyway uh, there's a certain relation between the length of the radio wave in meters and the frequency anyway when you want to know more go to Google and you will surely find the calculations here is say a kind of front end for short wave but also it's usable for medium wave uh, but on the other hand uh, the capacitor values here uh, are so big or in other words you can switch all the capacitor values here via this switch to say very big values and that means that in general this is more or less say um, a setup for long wave and here is the schematic this is the front end here we have a field effect transistor here we have say an audio amplifier or I not IF but a radio amplifier that also detects the shortwave radio signal in a kind of AM amplitude modulated way um, at the moment the antenna is connected the wire is connected at the moment via a 47 picofarad capacitor like I uh, told it's critical 47 picofarad it's not a outdoor antenna at the moment so this is not okay at the moment it's an indoor antenna and that indoor antenna has a length of indeed approximately uh, 7 meters um, but that can be tuned with the help of the uh, series capacitor etc now it is 47 picofarad and you can move the ferrite rod in and out here is the long wave coil um, the big problem is that I did not indicate the amount of windings here but uh, more or less for sure it uh, is 250 windings of very very thin um, insulated copper wire lacquered copper wire ferrite rod moves in and out to tune and the tuning capacitors here here are a few say extra capacitors that bridge the tuning capacitors these are the values um, it means that you can switch in another tuning capacitor to get to another frequency band as everything to do with this very very simple setup um, amplifier again BC547B NPN silicon transistor with a good amount of amplification say approximately 300 
it does not need more than 300 as amplification and this is the field effect transistor that I've used. It's a BF256B. It's common, not obsolete, anyway. So, the schematic again. You can connect all kinds of cores. It's a TRF radio. With other cores you can go to higher or lower, not lower, yes, perhaps even lower higher frequencies, perhaps even lower frequencies. And of course, say, the whole idea is that the coil and the antenna form together a tuned circuit. That works best to receive, say, radio uh, signals of whatever kind on in a certain frequency band, and here especially on long wave. So let's listen, and I also want to compare my radio here to this uh, long wave radio that I had in the past. Anyway, let's listen and see. I hope my camera will not drop, drop down. Uh, well, um, sometimes we have been misunderstood in terms of what we're doing because people almost assume that we're turning off all local radio stations. This is my radio. So here you can tune in. You can tune in. Long wave. Let me compare it to the reception of this radio. So this is this is a super heterodyne radio that I, that I had in the past, and this is a TRF radio. So two completely different ways of say receiving a radio signal. Here we don't need an outdoor antenna. We receive the antenna, oh, sorry, we receive the radio station on the so-called ferrite antenna or ferroceptor. It's a, say, um, a sensitive to the position. That's perhaps interesting to show. Perhaps this video gets too long, but anyway. So here we have a weak reception. And now we had I hope I've shown I hope I've showed it a better reception because the ferrite antenna here inside is direction sensitive. And of course with my homebrew long wave radio uh, it's not direction sensitive because we use here a wire antenna here completely a wire antenna. Uh, furthermore, when you want to do experiments, these uh, capacitors are critical. The, the capacitors uh, say uh, that in a certain way decouple the antenna to the uh, radio, radio circuit. So 47 picofarad, 180 picofarad, 10 picofarad, here it is 47 picofarad at the moment. So when the antenna gets more heavy, heavily coupled, uh, you will surely see that you can receive 
sometimes other radio stations. Well, let me try again. So, this is again at BBC. Let me try to find another radio station by moving the ferrite rod in and out. Well, here's not a radio station. I have to put up the amplification. Here's another radio station. It has everything to do, say, with the fact that the BBC uh, sends out a very fierce radio signal on long wave. Anyway, I hope it was a little bit interesting. Uh, this is, say, about the bare essentials of radio technology, TRF receivers, uh, different coils that can be tuned to certain radio frequencies, etc. And here's a schematic. Perhaps interesting to show some features. This is the amplification. And here is the, say, high frequency amplification via this potentiometer. And that is here in the circuit. High F amplification. Thanks for watching.